What is up, everybody? Welcome to the Hilltop Hideaway Lounge. It's a beautiful morning. That's right, it's a morning. We were going to go try to be live Wednesday, the first day of fall, with this uh, live stream. We were going to try to go live stream today with this live stream. So you're probably watching this and it's Sunday morning. So Sunday fun day, bitches. Fall has begun. Temps have gotten cold. Coffee is going to be brewing hot. I drink it all year round, but I guess fall is really when the hot brews start kicking back in action. Before we get to that, we're going to talk about People being a little over concerned. I think I can do this. I want to say some lyrics. Atmosphere, one of my favorite artists. He's a hip hop artist, a rapper. This is one of my favorite songs and one of the favorite parts of the song that I just um, really relate to my life. I don't pretend to be cool. I don't pretend to be young. I don't pretend to be smart. Don't pretend to be dumb. I don't pretend to be hard. Don't pretend to be first. And most of all, I don't pretend to be concerned. I don't pretend to be rich. I don't pretend to be broke. I don't pretend to be asleep. Don't pretend to be woke. I don't pretend to be deep. Don't pretend to be clean. I'm everything and everything that's in between. Take what you want out of that. Take a lot of don't pretend bullshit out of that. Um, but what I take is like, just being like a real person. I'm angry, I'm mad, I'm sad, I'm happy, I'm calm. Um, I get enraged about things that woke culture, I don't. Um, everybody's different, that's kind of the whole idea. I care about a lot of things and I give to a lot of things and I'm not gonna boast or this isn't about me telling you what I give to. I'd give because I wanna give. I don't wanna give and make an advertisement out of charity. It just doesn't seem how I wanna roll and it's not gonna make me feel any better about myself if other people think I'm some great humanitarian because I like to give money to whatever, you know? Um, so that ain't none of your goddamn business what I'm giving my money to, and if it makes you think less of me because you think I don't give, then you know, fuck yourself, I don't care. You're probably just mad because I'm not giving to you. The more I concentrate on the only thing I'm good at, which is serving food, um, the more I'm less concerned with anything that goes around with me and only concerned with doing that better and better because it funds all the operations, it funds all the giving, it funds my family so I can be a better dad and a better husband. Um, and it tries to fund, hopefully in the future, before we all die, maybe some time free with lost friends and just people in general that I'd like to associate with. But um, I really own a business and I really want it to succeed and there really isn't much time. I block off a few weeks throughout the year that I don't work at ch actually in the kitchen cooking. And other than that, I'm here 10, 12 hours a day, six, seven days a week. Um, and it doesn't, I'm not complaining about it. I'm not putting it out there that I work so hard so I can charge you more. No, my whole business model is to make you believe that I'm just giving you the best price and the best meal and slowly get more people that want to help me serve and help me do this and understand what's going on so we can do as many meals as possible and we all get to eat off that. I'm only concerned about my family getting supported right now and the people that work for me getting supported and us growing as a business and some people can't understand that. Some people don't realize you know how much time goes into it and how much i really care because i've never really cared about anything even myself um and that's all changed over the last few years and i gotta give a shout out to coffee man it's an addiction i'm never gonna give up along with the fat hooter in the morning um hmm. luckily i always got my cameras going and I had them going on the first day of fall when I recorded me 
brewing up the way I love to drink coffee all the time. What's up everyone? Most of you out there probably just think coffee's coffee, whatever. I'll get it at the gas station. I'll get it out of this nasty old coffee pot. It doesn't matter. I just need it to wake up a little bit. Get rid of it. Today on this caffeinated quick hitter, I am going to show you how I make my coffee in the morning and it is the best way I like to have coffee. Don't get me wrong, I enjoy going and getting something nice and delicious from a local coffee shop as much as I can. But when time is of the essence and we need to just, we can't be taking an hour every day to go get coffee, I enjoy making my own coffee the French press way. You probably think coffee's coffee, I get it. But if you try this way um, and you make it for the taste of coffee and you're not just drinking coffee to get your French vanilla creamer or you pumpkin sluts and that pumpkin creamer, make a good cup of coffee and you won't need all that extra bullshit because the, you're not trying to cover up nasty coffee taste. Um, those coffee pots and you're putting a lot of trust in a gas station to clean their coffee pots regularly and all the stuff back there. When I stopped drinking coffee out of one of those conventional coffee pots was when we cleaned it and opened it up one time and it was just, oh, I don't even want to talk about it. So after that moment, um, we switched to this. Uh, we still have a Keurig at the house because I mean, let's face it, everybody just wants quick and easy. 90% of the time, this is how I'm making coffee, and usually the other 10% of the time is I'll stop up at one of my favorite coffee shops, maybe Live Oak here in Saginaw or Midland. Maybe I'm out in Freeland and I stop at uh, the coffee beanery. Um, you know, whatever your favorite shop is, go there and support small local businesses and you know how that goes anyway this is only a few simple steps you can do this every morning you can get up you can get it ready you can make this the night before and reheat it in the microwave and it tastes just fine people don't want to do this because oh it's such a process because you can't just set your timer and whatever um super easy all we do is we got our little kettle here and we're going to set it to the french press setting of 200 we just set that there so that gets going while we're doing the rest. French press is a pretty simple machine. It's like a screen, a stick to push it with, and then a lid. And you just push it on, push it down, and it strains your coffee. Pretty easy. This is the big boy model. Um, it's 1.5 liter or something like that. It gets two big cups of these out of there when you make it. Um, all we do is we have our not fancy, this is a simple, cheap little coffee grinder that works great. You don't need much to grind your own beans. Hell, you can even grind them right in the store and put them right in the bag. I like grinding them fresh daily per cup because, man, when you do it, it just tastes better. Trust me. So we'll just have that setting. Um, it, for this, I put in about a, a heavy half a cup. So that's about what this puts out. It's not the quietest thing and sometimes you wake the wife up in the morning, but she'll be happy when she has a delicious cup of coffee. Easy as that. Take it off. Uh, let me see if I can show you this. There you go. Coarse ground coffee. That's probably a little over a half of a cup. We're just going to dump that into the old French press. Trust me, just try it. This stuff, you can even buy a little, this is only a $30 coffee grinder. All this stuff right here, maybe like 60 bucks, and all you gotta buy from here on out is beans. Um, it's a great investment if you enjoy coffee because once you taste the freshness of this coffee, um, when you taste that stale old coffee you've been drinking for a long time, you'll be very disappointed in yourself. You've been putting that shit in your body. I probably drink too much uh, coffee, you know, but I mean, we all have our things. Um, it doesn't really affect me much other than it gives me a little heartburn, I think, hopefully. Um, but I also drink a lot of water, and this is basically just hot water. She's all done, and all, the, all you gotta do
is just pour that over and we'll give it a little stir and let it sit. Usually while that kettle's going, I'm rolling up my morning hooter. And then when this gets going, I'll give her a little stir, place it on there. And you only need about five minutes. I like to give it a little longer just so, um, you know, all those coffee flavors really get in there. So I, what I do now is I go take a dump, do all my morning shit and uh, get dressed. And by the time I come back, we pop that down and we got a delicious cup of coffee. See you in a few minutes. By the magic of video editing, we are 10 minutes into the future and our coffee has been sitting here steeping in this hot water at 200 degrees for that time. <clears throat> and now it's time to get the coffee together. Now you can put in your coffee whatever you like. If you like to use those creamers full of sugar and flavor so that's all you taste is fucking pumpkin or French vanilla or hazelnut or D's nuts, you can put whatever you want in your coffee. I like to make my coffee um, this way. Once again, everything I do is trial and error so I've just drank many cups of coffee until I figured out I like it this way. So I'll show you how I do that right now. I like the flavor of the coffee, so I just use good old fashioned heavy cream. Um, a lot of, you can tell a good coffee shop by a good coffee shop if they got heavy cream. Some places even get the heavier stuff than this. I like that. When they tell you it's heavy cream and give you half and half thinking you don't know, that's when I stop going back to that coffee shop. So coffee shops don't act like we don't know. All right. I like nice amount. I mean, I'm not shy of some fats in the morning. Good, healthy fats. Okay. To that, I like to get my collagen peptides in my coffee. That's usually how I get it. Um, and I'll do two scoops in the first cup. Um, I started doing this when I started growing my hair and it was falling out super fast. Um, I still think my hair falls out faster than it grows, but I've noticed that my joints are feeling way better and um, my toenails grow really fast. So I guess it works. Um, it's not something like the powders that my haters like to take that work instantly. This you have to get on a regimen and you got to get it in your system and you will tell after time. It's not cheap, but if you care about your joints and you want to get younger as you get older, collagen up, bitches. One of these is awesome for coffee. I thought my wife was bougie as fuck the first time she got it, but then I used it and I love it. It's a little frother. Hear that? I like to give a little froth on my heavy cream and my collagen. You can see we got a lot in there to get it all mixed up before I dump my coffee in. Boom. Now, this has been sitting, all you gotta do is push that down, hold it so it don't open up and you get some granules in there. And pour a delicious hot cup. And then I hit it with the frother, one more again. Everybody loves things fast and quick. Some things in life are worth taking a little time to enjoy them being at the peak of freshness and deliciousness. When you wake up to a nice cup of joe like this and a fat hooter every morning, man, your day can't get any better. Or wait, it can't get worse. Or wait, just drink some fucking coffee. Or wait, just drink some good fucking coffee. Have a great day or night. Cheers. Mmm, that froth from that frother. Mmm. Peace. Frothy. Yeah. All right. Hope you enjoyed that little video. Um, that's pretty much how I roll on coffee every day. 
I like to uh, stop at the coffee shops. Um, the girls at Live Oak here in Saginaw have been hooking me up. You know, you tip a little bit, they, they remember you, and they hook your drink up and they give you what you want without having to ask. It's the power of tipping. Otherwise, um, a good server is going to make you ask for that shit every time until you cough it up. That's what I would do. Shout out Live Oak Saginaw. Um, another spot I like is the Coffee Beanery in Freeland. They make a delicious, delicious drink, but I just don't make my way out that way too much. But whenever I do, I make sure I stop out there. So shout out to them. Um, but other than that, I just love my collagen peptides. I love my heavy cream and I love my freshly ground beans, baby. Um, I appreciate those of you that do watch this. I was doing the Wednesday night thing because I thought that's just what most people would want to watch, but then I realized nobody wants to watch. So I'm gonna switch these live streams up to the mornings. I'm not really sure what day yet, but we're gonna have the Mr. J morning show because at nighttime, I'm a little fuzzy, man. I've been thinking all day. I've been cooking, running, loading, unloading, cleaning, all that shit for 10, 12 hours. And, uh, you know, I get a little ready for bed at 9 o'clock, not ready to rock. Hopefully this week, maybe next week, we're going to be back to the live stream and morning show. I'm still going to get try to get somebody to come uh, hang out and chill with me. Maybe mornings will be easier. I don't know. I doubt it. I'm probably always just going to be doing this shit solo, but you know what? Not getting all worked up and looking at fake ass motherfuckers on the internet and being real on my videos has helped me come a long way with issues I need to come a long way with. Along with cardio, along with vitamins, along with staying hydrated, along with cannabis, and along with coffee, I feel like I got a really good mix right now to keep me working 80 hours a week well into the future. I'm just uh, enjoying the fruits of my labor when I get the time and happy that working isn't work so I can do it every day and it doesn't even, you know what I mean? It gets stressful, but like, I love it. The, no matter how much the week is struggling to get going when I feed someone a meal and they want a second plate or someone comes up and shakes my hand and tells me that was a damn good wedding meal, it, it's worth it. I'm not trying to talk you into paying me more by it's so hard, this shit is easy. Easy breezy. And I'm lucky I fell into it. I'm lucky I was fucking only opportunities I had was line cooking where I could just make decent money because um, I talked myself into being a boss. Happy Sunday.